today I am in Juriquilla, just outside of Querétaro, Mexico, and I'm going to show you all sorts of different U.S. businesses that you can find right here. Seriously, within like a three block radius, you would probably think you were in the U.S. if you didn't know any better. So let's get right into it. The first place is right behind me here. It's Denny's. As it turns out, Denny's is a really popular breakfast joint for Mexicans. When I first saw Denny's here, I went and I thought it was going to be filled with gringos, but no, it was filled with Mexicans and you can get your Grand Slam breakfast here. The menu is pretty much exactly the same as it is in the US. And if you ever want your eggs over easy, over medium or over hard, Denny's is one of the only places that's going to know what the heck you're talking about. And then I do a little 180 from Denny's here and you have Starbucks. Starbucks is super popular in Mexico and there's a ton of locations around the country. But what is uncommon is this one has a drive through I walked like 10 feet over <laughs> to the next little shopping center here. And here you can find an Anytime Fitness and a Pizza Hut. So I came right across the street and you probably don't know this brand, but Superama is actually a grocery store owned by Walmart. And you can actually do pickup orders here from walmart.com.mx. And just outside of Superama, there's a GNC and a Sally Beauty Supply, which are both very common brands in Mexico. And then, literally right next to those stores is a Home Depot. From the very first restaurant I show you, Denny's to Home Depot, you can walk here in like one to two minutes. They're all super close. I was just asked, what kind of cars can you buy in Mexico? Well, I'll show you a few in the parking lot here. Here's a Volkswagen SUV. Next one's a Suzuki. Next one's a BMW. Honda. So you have a lot of the same brands here that you do in the US. By the way, if you're into cycling or mountain biking, there's actually a Cannondale bike store here. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna get across this busy road because right across the street here is the jackpot of US brands. Okay, one more to go. <laughs> Victory. I can't say that I've ever been to an IHOP in Mexico, but here's one right here in Huriquilla. And in this same area as IHOP, you have a Domino's Pizza, and I do a 180, and there's a Carl's Jr. If you look way across this busy street over here, you'll see a Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings is actually a restaurant I was really missing for a, quite a while when I was living in Mexico, and I thought there weren't any locations in Mexico. But as it turns out, there's at least two locations. No, I think there's more than two here in Querétaro. And I've also since seen a location in the Mexico City airport. So I've had that quite a few times since moving to Querétaro. A lot of people are shocked when they find out that there's HEB locations in Mexico. HEB is a brand that I think started in Texas. It's actually one that I wasn't familiar with in the US and they have a lot of locations in Mexico, but almost all of the locations are in states, Mexican states that very few foreigners live. You have Tamaulipas, Nuevo Leon and Coahuila, like the states right next to Texas. Uh, but outside of those three states, there aren't very many locations, but there are two here in Querétaro. I recently made a video talking about various common products and brands in the U.S. that are quite hard to find here in Mexico. And in that video, in the comments, a lot of people were saying, hey, go check out HEB because a lot of the stuff you're having trouble finding, you can find at HEB. And I hadn't been here, but I like the looks of this so far. Like, the first thing I noticed is that almost the whole parking lot has covered parking. They have shade for almost every car in the parking lot. But let's go inside HEB and see which of those products, those hard to find products we can find here. I felt like security was eyeing me outside when they saw my camera. So I'm guessing they're going to tell me not to record in here if they see me. So I put the camera away to come in and I'm going to try to record discreetly in the aisles. The first thing I was looking for from that video was in the produce section uh, for lemons and I looked all over there and there weren't any lemons to be found. But it was a very impressive produce section. I really like the looks of the store so far. This is pretty cool. They have a whole popcorn section where they pop their own popcorn here and bag it. I like that. It doesn't seem like they have a big selection of popcorn left because the store is really, really busy right now. You know what I just found that I don't think I've ever seen anywhere in Mexico before and I included in that video is Cool Whip. This isn't the Cool Whip brand, but I'm pretty sure this is an off-brand Cool Whip. Now let's go down the candy aisle and see if I can find licorice. I'm guessing no, because I've literally only seen it in one store in my four years in Mexico. So 
I'm guessing ATB is not going to be the exception. So I confirmed that there is no licorice here, but I did find some hard to find candies, like that candies that are common in the US, but hard to find here like candy corn, and they have some others like Smarties, but I noticed the brand is Hill Country Fair, and that's the same brand that that off-brand Cool Whip was. So I'm guessing that's ATB's house brand. So now I'm gonna check out the cookies and crackers aisle because I mentioned three types of crackers in that video that are hard to find here. Wheat Thins, Triscuits, and Cheez-Its. So let's see if they have any of them. So it turns out they have a whole lot of Ritz crackers and the Mexican equivalent of saltines, but they went 0 for 3 in the cracker section. No Cheez-Its, no Triscuits, and no Wheat Thins. Their cracker section was actually pretty sad here. I think I'd have better luck at Walmart. I, th I can at least get Wheat Thins sometimes at Walmart. In that video, I mentioned that it's hard to find the original flavor of Fritos. And here they have lime and salt and chili and lime. Uh, they do not have the original flavor. However, they have HEB's brand of Texas uh, corn dippers or something. <laughs> so maybe that's like Fritos, but uh, no, they do not have the original brand of Fritos. And while I'm in the chip aisle, I also mentioned that it's hard to find barbecue flavor chips. So let's see if they have that. So in regards to the barbecue flavor chips, uh, they don't have any in stock right now, but I just did see a couple of price tags that are for barbecue flavor. So it is something they carry. They just must be popular. Next, we have the soda aisle. In that video, I mentioned it's hard to find Mountain Dew, root beer, and Dr. Pepper. So we'll see if they have those. So it looks like they have real Dr. Pepper, the HEB brand of root beer, but Mountain Dew, nowhere to be seen. I really liked HEB. I think I'll have to start shopping here. They had some of the things on that list from that video I made about products that are hard to find in Mexico, but they didn't even come close to covering the whole list. However, when you combine HEB with Chedraui Selecto, Walmart, Sam's Club, and Costco, well then I can probably find about half of the things on that list. But it's still a challenge and it means going all over the city. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check out HEB more often. Oh, and by the way, um, for the first time ever in my four years in Mexico, yesterday when I was at the gym, my phone said that I had 5G. And when I was out today in Hurikia filming this video, I noticed that everywhere I went, I also had 5G. So it would seem that 5G cell phone service just came to Queretaro. And by the way, if you're curious, my cell phone service provider is Telcel. For dinner tonight, I decided to break from the American theme and come to one of my favorite restaurants in the city, Korean Grill. I got this awesome New York Prime steak for 350 pesos that comes with all the authentic Korean accoutrements. And I also got a tofu salad, which is totally incredible. I first had the tofu salad when I got the tasting menu here, and I loved it, and I get it every time since then. But I am excited for this. I'm gonna cook up my meat and have an awesome meal here. Normally, they cook the meats for you at the table, but since I've seen them do it so many times, I know exactly how it's done, and I just want to do it myself tonight. Oh, it's so good. This meat is always so good. It's the most tender, easiest to chew, super flavorful. I love it so much. Korean Grill is always so satisfying. I love this restaurant so much. And by the way, I could totally do an entire video here in Hurikia on like the Japanese and Korean culture. There's lots of Japanese and Korean stores and Asian stores and hotels and restaurants, all sorts of stuff like that. If that sounds like something that would be of interest to you, let me know in the comments below. So this morning I'm at one of my friend's dental offices here in La Colonia La Jolla in Queretaro for a cleaning. And this is my friend Vanessa. Hola. <laughs> So this cleaning is going to be 600 pesos, but she also has a promotion every Monday and Friday that if you have two people, it's two for 700. <laughs> Bad news, I have two cavities. Small ones, but they're still there. A major difference between dentist visits in the US and here in Mexico is that in the US, the dental assistant will do the cleaning and then the dentist will come in and do the exam. But here the dentist does everything. And I have two cavities right down here and she's going to fix them today. Same appointment so I don't have to come back, which I really appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Puedo comer y tomar inmediatamente o necesito esperar? 
No, ya está completamente seco el material. Ya puedes comer como si nada. Ok. So that cleaning was 600 pesos and to fill each cavity was 600, so a total of 1,800 pesos for today's visit. If you come here, I'll leave her information on the screen, like her Instagram with the address and phone number and everything. But if you come here, you'll see that there's no signage up or anything and it just looks like a house out front. Uh, that's because she recently switched locations and is still waiting on the permits to be able to put her signage up. By the way, she doesn't speak English, so if you're okay with a dentist appointment in all Spanish, I would recommend you come here. And I know I'm going to get questions like, is that your girlfriend? Are you two dating? No. We have hung out in the past, but I'm going to crush your dreams right now and tell you that we are literally just friends. So I just ordered my Uber and now I'm going to head to Costco. So I had always had the regular Costco membership, which is 500 pesos here, but I recently upgraded to the executive membership, which is 1100 pesos. And when I did that, I got a bunch of coupons for like 50% off a number of things in the store as well as a free hot dog and fountain drink here So this is my first time ever trying a hot dog It's actually my first time ever eating at a food court in a Costco in Mexico So I'm gonna give this a try when I was putting on the toppings for this I noticed they had different toppings than they do in the US here. They have mustard ketchup onions or jalapenos there was no relish. Hot dogs normally gross me out, but it, like they're all beef here, so <laughs> that, that makes me feel much better about eating it. Pretty good. And that hot dog was actually really darn good. I might have to get that more often. You know, I just came into the main entrance here of Costco, and for the first time in a long time, basically since COVID started, they weren't doing temperature checks at the entrance here. When shopping at Costco in Mexico, I find that about half or maybe 75% of the products are about the same as what you're gonna find in US Costco and the rest is catered towards the local market. And as for prices, they're similar to the US. Uh, however, here in Mexico, you have to remember that everything on every price tag includes a 16% sales tax, whereas the prices you see in Costco in the US, that's before sales tax is added. So I'm looking around the dog section and it appears they have no more bully sticks. I talked about those in a recent video, so if you're one of those who came to the Queretaro Costco after you saw that video to buy your dog those bully sticks, you have deprived Alaska of them because there's none left. <laughs> I'm not saying I blame you, but Alaska might. <laughs> so I was getting Alaska this purple adult dog dog food, uh, Kirkland Signature brand, but my vet told me to start getting her this one. It's the mature dog uh, for older dogs and that has like glucosamine and other stuff that helps older dogs. I am actually shocked right now. This is the first time I've ever seen anything golf related in store in Costco in Mexico. They have some golf related stuff on costco.com.mx, uh, but they do not carry the Kirkland golf balls on the website. I have bought the set of three wedges on the Costco Mexico website, but I've literally never seen these. So uh, it looks like it's 670 pesos for two dozen. I'm becoming more and more Mexican because anytime I have a stomach ailment, anytime my stomach is upset at all, this is my one-stop cure-all. <laughs> Yakult. Ran into some fans here. <laughs> Hola. 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 I was hoping they would have the Tillamook brand sharp cheddar cheese here, but no luck for me today, unfortunately. What are the odds? I ran into some more fans. These are the longest checkout lines I've ever seen in my life at Costco. It's not like it's Black Friday or something. This is just your average Tuesday. So I'm wondering if maybe there's something wrong with their systems because the lines are almost to the back of the store. It's crazy. All right, I'll check out. Now I just wait for my Uber. Um, by the way, 
whenever you're at a grocery store in Mexico or like a Walmart, anywhere where there's a bagger, someone bagging your groceries, you always tip them because these are unpaid employee. Well, they're not actually employees. Uh, they're, they're unpaid helpers who rely solely on tips. The one exception is Costco. Here, they do not work on tips and they're not even allowed to accept tips. By the way, every time you come out of Costco, there will be guys at the exit asking you if you need help to your car. They'll push your cart to your car, help you load everything into your car if you want that. And these guys also like gather up the carts in the parking lot. They do work on tips, unlike the baggers here. So uh, be sure to throw them a little something if they help you out. I've noticed that throughout Mexico, almost every nice car has license plates from the state of Morelos and Morelos is one of the smallest, if not the smallest state in Mexico. So I looked into why that is the case, and it's because you don't have to pay taxes on your car every year if you have it registered in Morelos. And now that I'm in the market for a car, I would like to know how do I get my car registered in the state of Morelos? So if you have any more information or any insight on how to get a car registered in the state of Morelos, comment down below, I'd like to know. Since I've started going to and from Costco in an Uber, I felt a little weird about it at first because, you know, like, you have all this stuff coming out of Costco and I thought that would be like a big pain in the butt for the drivers, right? And I didn't want to bother them with that. However, I've found most of them to not seem to mind too much and most are pretty helpful. I just leave them an extra tip at the end for their trouble. So as you can see, if you're coming to Mexico, you will find a lot of the stores and restaurants here that you see in the US. However, when you go back to your Airbnb at the end of the day and you fire up your computer, you do a Google search, all of your results are going to be in Spanish. In addition, a lot of the websites you visit will be in Spanish. Well, one easy fix for this is to get a VPN and with a VPN and a click of a button, you can change your location virtually and have your computer be located in the US or Canada or wherever else you want to be. If you want to check out my favorite VPN, you can go to tangerinevpn.com. That's my affiliate link and it will take you right there. It's the only major VPN company I know about that for one subscription gives you access to unlimited devices. It will cover your entire families, computers, phones, tablets, TVs, everything. So go check that out, tangerinevpn.com. They're running a sale. It's 83% off plus three extra months free. Again, tangerinevpn.com. I recently made a video about common US products that are difficult to find in Mexico. So click on that video until I see you next week. But before you go, please subscribe to the channel and gong that bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. And I will see you on Saturday.